I'm Doug Pugh from Big County Preps. I'm here with Mr. Charles Lovett, one of the best wide receivers in all of Hillsborough County. Good to sit down with you, Charles, and talk with you for a minute. Now, we have, uh, you caught 44 balls for 1,100 yards last year. You averaged over 25 yards a catch. Um, speak a little bit about, that's a, that's a phenomenal average yards a catch. Speak a little bit about what your personal goals are um, beyond that of the teams and then what, uh, how that may align with the team's goals for this year. Um, my personal goals last year was get like 100 yards a game or whatever, but I mean, as you can see, when I, when I, when I play good, it goes, it's, that's cut even because we lost two games we playing good, so I, I mean, I just want to win. Whatever, whatever I can do to help my team win, I mean, that, that's what I'm going to do. Now, you mentioned two losses, two wins. And I'll read off some of your stats. You had, against Alonzo, you had nine catches for 142 yards and two touches. Uh, Blake, five for 194 and two touchdowns. Armwood, you had eight for 149 yards, but no touchdowns and a loss. Tech was a loss, seven for 137 for one touchdown. So we, there's consistency there. But talk a little bit about how from week to week, as a leader on your team, you help get your team ready to play and bounce back from those losses. Uh, I tell them that. I, I put them numbers on against Tech and Arnwood, so I try to tell them, like, motivate them, like, don't go out there, just, just play your game. Because I don't go out there saying, or oh, I know you play Arnwood, I know I'm going to have three yards. Right. Saying, don't, don't go out, just go out there and act like they are the place. They are the, the, the sorry teams in our county or whatever. So just go out there and just don't act like they all that. Just, just play your game. So that, that's what I did. So it's kind of like, um, speaking to kind of what we talked a little bit about uh, when we were interviewing Quentin and Dre from Jefferson about having that swag, yeah. having, you know, the t-shirts with D program on the front um, and having, you know, Big Red and, and, and being a part of that tradition. Speak a little bit about that and, you know, speak a little bit about that swag that's necessary because you can't make the plays I've seen you make yeah. personally without having that confidence to do it. Well, that, that always goes in to what, what I put in to be able to create those big plays. I mean, I feel like we were super hard, so, you know, and the swagger of the Big Red, like before I got here, I heard all about, we go way back and all that. I mean, that that's good to hear, but we living in the now. Right. right? So we really can't say, oh, we was good back in the day, it's now. So we got to make a statement now. Right. That's what we trying to do. Now, you are, part of a succession of many, many talented players to play for the Big Red and will inevitably go on to the next level. Um, what sort of fraternity do you feel like you're a part of, um, A, on the prep level, and B, once you get on to that next level? Um, talk a little bit about that. Uh, I feel like my talents are, are great, but they always can get better. I mean, there's always uh, room for improvement. So I'm going to just try to get in the the, the conversation as some of the greats, put it like that. I'm going I'm to I'm work hard to get in the conversation of when people talk about the greats that came through the world, I'm going to try to be one of the people that they talk about. All right, now I pose this question to one of your teammates. What's it like coming on a Friday morning, on, especially on a home game, when uh, when you know the Big Red has is, is got somebody, say Armwood's coming to town, uh, coming all the way from out in East Hillsboro, and they, they're showing up at where at the field uh, on Friday night? What's it like showing up uh, on Central Ave in the morning on, on Friday morning? I feel, I feel like you in heaven, man. Just I, I got to take a deep breath about that because I mean, running through the smoke that that's not one of the things. I mean, I'd be happy about it, but the one thing that probably surprised a lot of people that was that would get me hyped is the band. When 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 the band rocking, I'm rocking. I like that. Yeah, so nobody ever, yeah. nobody, nobody's mentioned yeah. that, but you know what? A lot of people don't talk about right. the imp the yeah. importance of having you know some of those bands, especially like Northwestern and yeah. Mainland, and seeing some of those other bands. Yeah. I, that's I like that. That's what really get me motivated and going. Like, cause I, I just like music, so like when I hear it, it's kind of get kind of get me going. So, do you have any superstitions that may you know that, that on game day that may uh, that may fall into that or what? Nah, I don't really think I have any of those. I just, it just, it just get me hyped. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. All right, so what would you say in terms of 
A, what your coaches have told you, and B, what yourself has told you, know, what the conversation you've had with yourself when you look at yourself in the mirror. What are your strengths and weaknesses? Well, people and my coaches have always told me that I, I run excellent routes. But me, honestly, I, I really don't see it for some reason. I just I just do what I'm told. I, I see, I, I just do it. It just comes natural. I don't see that I'm a great route runner. I mean, I'm not a sorry route right runner, but I don't see they They stretch it that I'm a great route right runner. I really don't see it. But I think one of my weaknesses is the jump ball. I mean, I, I, I want to get better. I practice every day to get better at the jump ball because of my height, so it's not really as, as easy as it is to other people. So that's probably one of my weaknesses is, is the jump ball. Okay. Um, what is your biggest hurdle? Uh, you just mentioned it a little bit, but it, it, would you want to expand on that? Do you think your height is your biggest hurdle going to the next level, or do you think it's, or do you think it's your jumping ability, or what do you think is your biggest hurdle going on? I don't think it's none of my. I don't think it's none of my football ability. It's just, it's the trans, just the transition from the the, 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 the game and, and the school and the lifestyle and all that. I think football can work out for itself. I work too hard. Entirely too hard to, to, to go to college and fail. Right. That's how I see.